I want to step back just a little bit and think about the long-term effects of climate change, which may be considered a natural disaster. There's a man-made element to it also. So some of the major effects that we're now starting to quantify include increased mortality, particularly because of rising temperatures, higher electricity demand, reduced work in exposed environments. People who work outside will be able to work less in more extreme uh, temperatures. Uh, reduced yields for grains, cotton, and oil seeds in particular, very large crops for the US. Increases in the rate of violent crime and in property crime. And then something that Kevin really gave you a, a nice insight into is how significant the coastal impacts are. We have a tremendous amount of economic activity around the coasts of the US and those uh, impacts of uh, big events which are likely to increase in, in magnitude, if not frequency, uh, will have some pretty significant effects. So just let me show you, this um, is some very recently published research, it appeared in the uh, journal Science, uh, by an interdisciplinary team of scholars putting together models from all sorts of different uh, uh, scientific disciplines. And they estimate both a time path and then kind of the ending point, 75 years in the future, what is likely to be the net economic impact on a county by county level, looking at all of those uh, factors that I uh, enumerated. And so really the clearest thing that shows up when you look at the geographical distribution is that there are clear winners from warmer temperatures and there are clear losers. The winners are in the northern and northwestern part of the United States, increased agricultural production in some of those areas, uh, reduced mortality as temperatures uh, rise in those very northern climes. Conversely, in, in the south and the southeast where the uh, impacts will be the most concentrated. Uh, those effects, uh, with the exception of coastal impacts, which are obviously more limited, but those rising temperature impacts across all of those different um, dimensions really shows up. And if you zoom in and look at our region, their estimates are that we could lose the economic equivalent of five to 10% of GDP as a result of these effects. And of course it will be a gradual uh, effect, but by that time, 75 years from now, we should expect uh, a significant effect on our economic activity. So certainly there's a lot of uncertainty that remains and this research looked at all kinds of different ways to handle the uncertainty and looked at different scenarios. Uh, the big questions of course include how much and how fast will global temperatures rise? They've already risen significantly. Uh, how will various geograph geographies, economic sectors, and populations be affected? And they've tried to model that. Uh, and of course, obviously, how much adaptation will occur? For example, moving economic activity out of, say, coastal zones. Uh, Miami, for example, will, under some scenarios, would be really uninhabitable uh, with the rising sea levels and the intensity of storms. So some of that activity probably will migrate somewhere else, and similarly in the south generally. Um, it also, you know, important point, and this, this is true of the, the uh, storms that Kevin was talking about, and it's also true in these longer term effects, there are very significant distributional impacts. This is true also within the United States as well as globally. It tends to be the more vulnerable communities and individuals who get the hard, hit hardest by natural disasters. And this research quantified it and said if you take the poorest one third of counties in the United States, their economic losses will be between two and 20% of GDP. So as I said, the overall winners will tend to be in the North and there will be winners from, uh, from these changes. And the overall losers uh, are the South and the Southeast, including the St. Louis area. Uh, this may be you know, not as well known as, as uh, kind of the overall picture that these uh, differences by region are gonna be quite significant. 